we're asked to state the domain and simplify the given rational expressions. So for review, to determine the domain, we begin with our real numbers and determine the excluded values. The excluded values are those values for the variable that result in the expression having a denominator of zero. The reason we exclude these values is because division by zero is undefined. To simplify the expression, we first factor the numerator and denominator, then we find the common factors for the numerator and denominator and simplify. So going back to our examples, the first expression is six x to the fourth divided by the quantity twenty-four x squared. Now looking at the denominator, notice how if x is equal to zero, we have a zero in the denominator, which means the domain is all real numbers except zero. And now we'll factor the numerator and factor the denominator. The prime factorization of six is two times three, so we'll write the numerator as two times three times x to the fourth is four factors of x. And now we'll determine the prime factorization of twenty-four. Twenty-four is equal to four times six. Four is equal to two times two. Six equals two times three. So we'll write twenty-four x squared as two times two times two times three times x squared equals two factors of x. And now we identify the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Notice how they share a common factor of two as well as a common factor of three and two common factors of x. We know any value divided by itself is equal to one as long as the value isn't zero. And therefore two divided by two simplifies to one, three divided by three simplifies to one, as well as x divided by x and x divided by x. So all of the common factors are simplifying to one. The remaining factors give us the simplified expression. In the numerator we have x times x which equals x squared. In the denominator we have two times two which is equal to four. So the simplified expression is x squared divided by four and the domain is all real numbers except zero. Next we have the quantity two x minus ten divided by the quantity x squared minus two x minus fifteen. Looking at just the denominator, notice how in this form we cannot determine what values to exclude from the domain, so we'll first factor. And we'll go ahead and factor the numerator and factor the denominator. Looking at the numerator, we factor out the greatest common factor, which is two. The quantity two x minus ten is equal to two times the quantity x minus five. If we distribute, we still have two x minus ten. And now in the denominator, if this trinomial factors, it will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The terms in the second positions must be the factors of negative fifteen that add to negative two. Well, because negative five times positive three equals negative fifteen, and negative five plus three is equal to negative two, negative five and positive three are the values we need to complete the factoring. One factor is x minus five, and the other factor is x plus three. Now it is important that we determine the domain before we simplify the rational expression. To determine what values to exclude, we need to determine the values of x that make the denominator equal to zero. We need to solve the equation, the quantity x minus five times the quantity x plus three equals zero. Well, x minus five is equal to zero when x equals five. X plus three is equal to zero when x equals negative three. So these are the two values we must exclude from the domain. So the domain is all real numbers except negative three and positive five. Now we'll go back and simplify the rational expression. Again, it is important to determine the excluded values before simplifying the rational expression. Notice how the numerator and denominator share a common factor of x minus five x minus five divided by x minus five simplifies to one. Which means the rational expression simplifies to two divided by the quantity x plus three. So here's a simplified rational expression and here's the domain. Let's look at the third example on the next slide. We have the quantity x squared minus x minus six divided by the quantity x cubed minus seven x squared plus twelve x. Looking at just the denominator again, notice how 
we cannot determine what values must be excluded until we first factor the denominator. So let's go ahead and factor both the numerator and denominator. The numerator factors into two binomial factors. The terms in the first positions are x and x because x times x equals x squared. The constant terms are the factors of negative six that add to negative one. So because negative three times positive two is equal to negative six, and negative three plus two is equal to negative one, one binomial factor is x minus three, and the other is x plus two. In the denominator, the first step is to factor out the greatest common factor, which is x. We'll factor out x. We're left with x squared minus seven x plus 12. And now we'll factor the trinomial inside the parentheses. If it does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. And don't forget about this factor of x here. We have x and x in the first positions because x times x equals x squared. And now we need to find the factors of positive 12 that add to negative seven. Well, because negative four times negative three is equal to positive 12, and negative four plus negative three is equal to negative seven, one binomial factor is x minus four, and the other is x minus three. Again, before we simplify, we need to determine the values to exclude from the domain. We exclude the values where the denominator is equal to zero, which are the solutions to x times the quantity x minus four times the quantity x minus three is equal to zero. Well, this product is equal to zero when x equals zero, or when x equals positive four, or when x equals positive three. These are the values you must exclude from the domain. So the domain is all real numbers except zero, three, and four. Now let's go back and simplify the expression. Notice the numerator and denominator share a common factor of x minus three. X minus three divided by x minus three simplifies to one. The remaining factors give us the simplified expression. In the numerator we have the quantity x plus two. In the denominator we have x times the quantity x minus four. So this would be the more common way to express the simplified expression. However, we could also distribute the x and write this as the quantity x plus two divided by x squared minus four x. Either of these expressions would be considered simplified. I hope you found this helpful.